Jigsaws. Well, the origins of the band are, uh, I started it with two buddies of mine uh, back in 2005. After playing for a while, we had invited Jeff to join the band to play the keyboard. And then we had many, many lineup changes over the years. We found ourselves in New York. The first time we played New York City was in 2006 when I moved here from New Jersey. And and then we played uh, another show in 2007 before going on hiatus and we came back in 2008 and that's when we didn't stop playing. <laughs> well, in 2008, we, it was just you and me. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> we were doing a super karaoke kind of performance where we uh, would record ourselves playing all the instruments before we had a show to keep it uh, to keep it lively and varied and we did a number of shows that way and that is when uh, John Paul and Mikey from the Everyman uh, joined the band and we played about close to a hundred shows together in 2009 and uh, that's when we had another we've had many 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 drummers I think we're uh, Pat, I think, is our eighth drummer, right? I think. I, I wouldn't know. No? <laughs> I'm only we're like four Spinal with the Tap. Band. Yeah, we're no, like Spinal Tap. We can't hold on <laughs> to nothing it. Bad All of our drummers have been awesome. Seriously, they, they've been great drummers, but we haven't been able to hold on to them. Amanda joined um, <laughs> in 2009 uh, when, we, uh, when we first started dating, actually. Well, you just said you needed... <laughs> Well, yeah, the we need to quit. Okay. Yes. And so Jeff is a multi instrumentalist, very talented, and yes. um, so he took over on the drums, and you guys needed somebody to round out the sound. Yes. So at that point, it was because we sounded Jeff, awful as a three piece. <laughs> well, <laughs> Terrible. You know, we I mean, sounded like garbage. Tried. <laughs> Changed you the lo the, the lo fi stand up top kind of thing. Yes. That was awful. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, yeah. The only time we were professionally recorded at one of our shows it was a three piece. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that video disappeared. Yes, forever. forever. And then he's like, You're, you, we need you in the band. <laughs> Please. I remember Please. thinking we all looked really good. but Yes. No. But we didn't. That. that was terrible. And that was MTV that filmed us, of all, of all people. I remember so. that. Well, you know. International yeah. MTV. They wouldn't let regular MTV news. Well, clearly you have so many viewers since it ruined your career after that you never it's played true. again. It's true. Yeah. And then uh, Pat joined the band just this past, um, she had our, her, her audition with us in May and she had responded to a Craigslist ad. We were looking for a drummer and she said that she was both Filipino and living in Astoria and we're like, you're in the band. <laughs> Then we auditioned her, and then uh, she nailed every song that that we had her perform. And then when I asked, uh, "Where did you practice?" Uh, she said, "I just listened to the songs." And I was like, "You're in the band." <laughs> the name Powwow. We were looking for a a new band name because uh, previous to this, uh, the band that I had been playing in with my friends that that helped me form Powwow was called Soft Shoe. We were looking for a new name because we had completely changed our sound, and we saw. Uh, on a church marquee out in, you know, Bumblefuck, New Jersey, uh, powwow with an exclamation point on this marquee. And, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, that's, that's the new name of the band. And looked at the other two, uh, Chris and Blake, and they were like, yeah, that's good, that's good. So that's where the name comes from. That and we always wanted to have a really good time when we play uh, live shows. So I think it goes hand in hand with that. <laughs>
wow. got back from tour and it was pretty insane because we've never been on tour before and um we went with our buds quite loudly and it was just like being in a van for like 10 days with a bunch of wonderful people <laughs> <laughs> it was, it went no really it was smoothly. it went really well we didn't get sick of of anybody no there was nothing um, crazy like really we so slept smooth. pretty well too surprisingly <laughs> you know why it's because we didn't do any of the driving yeah <laughs> john paul did some oh, driving in the, last, yeah, driving. the last stretch yeah, he did the last stretch right no, but it was fucking awesome and just to kind of get out of the city and take on a new perspective was something that we really um needed and are going to continue to do hopefully I mean, it, it, yeah, going through the Midwest, <laughs> I love I loved the tour. It just uh, definitely made me also really appreciate and realize how much I love New York City. So it's like everything is... As opposed to me, is it's, crying. Oh, God, we're back. I, I was like, yeah. Monday. <laughs> yeah, everything here is just... Uh, it was interesting to compare and contrast, like the regional yeah. scenes, which are really cool. There's some bands yeah. that we really thought were amazing and had yeah. great crowds. And then... Just understanding that you, know, you can find bits of everything in the totally. city here. There's exactly. Everywhere. We had a drunken heckler in, in, oh, yeah. in, Columbus. in Columbus. Oh, that guy? Yeah. And he was banging on a snare drum. Uh, and he was asking for, uh, <laughs> he was asking for Pat <laughs> to play. What did, what did he ask? He said Keith play Moon. like oh, yeah. Keith Moon. He's and like, then, I want to hear Keith some Keith Moon. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, I want to hear some Keith Moon coming out yeah. of you. And he was banging on this. And then all of a sudden he got so into it after we finally started playing that he started, he picked up, he found a snare drum and started like hitting it. Like while we were playing our first song uh, <laughs> of that show. And he uh, he got dragged out of the place. Did he? Oh, I, I was like, yeah. I, I didn't. I mean, he yeah. was gone. He was, like that yeah. was the last. Yeah. That no, no, no. Last believe me, he would have been there. He would have been there for a whole show. Definitely belligerent. Uh, I didn't even yeah. realize um, that. I was like, should I kick this guy? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't even I, know. He would. Meg said it was really funny to see that whole thing from the crowd because yeah. she said all five pair of our eyes were just. Yeah. Darn burning holes yeah. in this guy. <laughs> we were yeah. just like, well, you maybe he was having words. fun. I didn't but, notice. I don't know. You didn't yeah. notice? That? No, 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 no I was having, well, you know, when I was we're setting with... up and I'm like, this ass. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> if I have to swing my bass at someone on tour, it's going to be handy. <laughs> well, I was just getting like, I was way in the corner, like getting like entangled. My guitar How about we do that next time? If we ever get a drunken heckler in the front row, let's all just take the headstocks of our thing in unison and we just give ourselves that signal and you're just like, yeah. The way, like you're the way, someone. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's knight him, <laughs> and we'll say that into the mic too. That's like a Let's knight this motherfucker. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's like barging somebody, barging somebody in, in, in music, exactly. you know? Yeah. It's like barging. Yeah. <laughs> it's like our, it's like our invented like punishment. Yeah. It's true.
That's one that I bugged Eddie to, to, to <laughs> let me play. <laughs> we had, uh, he, he had recorded two songs in his home office, whatever yes. it was. Uh, <laughs> Confess Sinners oh, and The Devil Came to Maine. We played Confess Sinners quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, but that was, that's a really fun bass line to play, but it's a little um, straight ahead. Yeah. And uh, this one definitely lets me go all over the place. Yeah. But it's not taxing to play. It's really fun to play. Yeah. So anytime he points to me and says, let's play Devil Came to Me, it's a high I, point for me, at least. That's another old song. It, it, we, we had originally written it in its first form, uh, late two th- or summer of 2009, and we just never played it for some reason. It, and it, uh, it's about uh, temptation. <laughs> if that was not. I thought it was literally about talking to the devil. Yeah, because I and, do that. And I thought it was the devil came that. in me. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. oh yeah. But, but I wasn't trying to talk about that experience. <laughs> no, that's the next Jeez, song. Jeez, Louise. There will be a sequel to that song called <laughs> "The Devil Came in Me." <laughs> afraid and uh, it, it came together I started just messing around with 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 chords and uh, 
and and some very very loose lyrics and then brought it to the band and everybody just made up their own parts for the song and yeah we liked it so much that that we decided to name our record after it i do think that was one of the one of the if not the first song one of the first couple songs that we definitely uh, all collaborated on and all yeah. Yeah. put it together as a band. Yeah. Which was a really refreshing thing and I think we've uh, continued, continued to moving yeah. in that direction. Definitely. Eddie trusts me now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. You've been your lieutenant now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up and you'll be captain. <laughs> I'm still park ranger. Yeah. <laughs>
Ray's your last time playing with these guys. What are your thoughts on your time with Pow Wow? I wouldn't say I uh, struggled with it at first, but it was new, uh, fresh to, to me, and I got to do uh, what I'm used to. Yeah, I like it because um, like they're really genuine with um, uh, with what they uh, want to like portray and what they want to sound like, and um, like that's most important to me in any kind of musical situation or even like in life or whatever in general. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to to meet them and like connect with with everyone and. Uh, my uh, stay here in New York. Uh, yeah, I have to go home because of like visa stuff mm -hmm. and like formalities. And, um, but it, it's cool. Like it's not like a, I cut off ties with people and stuff. So yeah, definitely. Um, Won't be the last time she draws with us. <laughs> What's next for Pow Wow? Um, hopefully we start, uh, we, we really have the tour bug right now, so we are trying to um, set up another tour hopefully for March. And we, um, we have a good friend who's going to drum with us. Yes, uh, we, we have um, Sal from Quiet Loudly, uh, who we went on tour with, the band that we went on tour with, amazing guys, yeah, amazing great band. great drummer. Um, yeah. And we're going to start playing with him very soon. So. Uh, yeah, set up another tour. We uh, also are going to be shopping our record around to labels in hopes of, of sharing this oh, record. Oh, and we are going to press the yes, album on and, and, vinyl. And press the, the album <laughs> on the... vinyl. And then we're, we're writing new songs, and so uh, we might follow up. Uh, I think the plan right now maybe is to follow up this record with some more EPs before doing another full length. And you can look out for those ones in 2013. <laughs>